Hi there. This video is about this new blow dryer. At least it's new to me. This is the Revlon Pro Collection Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. I have used this about three times and I am no hair expert at all, but what I am is someone that is trying to deal with frizzy hair and hair with lack of volume and hair that I'm tired of curling because the curl doesn't stay in and it is a hassle and it takes a long time. So I'm hoping that this will really cut down the time that I have to blow dry and style my hair. Here is a look at the Revlon Styler. It is shaped like an oval, which I thought was interesting because of course, when we brush our hair or use a round brush on, on our hair, it is round, not oval. So I thought that was interesting. I think it's more designed to give you that sleek blowout look with just a little bend at the bottom. I kind of wish they'd come out with a round one because I would like that one better, I think. But it has a little area that stays cool that you can hold on the top. So when you're curling your hair and directing this through your hair, it makes it a little bit easier. And on the back here, it does have four settings, off, cool, low, and high. And I really do like that cool setting, which I'll show you in just a moment. Okay, I start, I just dropped it for the second time since I've had it uh, Friday night and it is Sunday and it did not break. So that's a good thing, it must be durable. Okay, here I am, I'm gonna take my hair out and I toweled it dry maybe a little bit more than normal. The first time I used this, I used another blow dryer to blow it about halfway dry and I realized that it has better effect in terms of giving me the little curl on my hair that I want when I start with wet hair. Okay, this is how my hair looks, and I would say that I got it a little more dry in terms of towel drying than I normally do. I tried it the first time by blow drying it to about 50%, and I didn't think the curl stayed in as much as I wanted it to. Okay, the first step is to give this hair some volume, and the first product I use is the Got To Be Fantastic Mousse by Schwarzkopf. And I really do love this one and it takes very little product, like maybe that much for your whole head. And I don't really do it so much in the front, it's more in the back. Actually, I think I need a little more product than that. Now I've gotten too much, I know how this works. Oh my gosh, look, I've gotten way too much. That tends to happen. I'll put a little bit on the sides here because I do like the sides to puff out. Not so much in the front, but I'll put that excess in the back. Then I go in with my volumizing sprays and I use three of them, which I think is overkill, but I like all of them, so I do use three. The first is this John Frieda Luxurious Volume Fine to Full Blowout Spray. And I don't use a lot of that. I just kind of spray it. Then I use the Verb Volumizing Spray. And I got this originally in a kit from Sephora, you know, one of those kits where they give you their popular selling hair products. And I have to say, after I used this little travel size, I went out and purchased the big one, but the sprayer on the large one was defective. It didn't work. So I'm pouring from the big bottle into the little travel size. Now the last product I added about a month ago, and I really think it does help. This is the Aquage Thickening Spray Gel. And as those of you who have watched my channel know, I really suffer from thin hair. It drives me bonkers. It is one of those beauty areas that I'm kind of lacking, and that is hair. Okay, the next step is to section off the top and I just curl it up here or wrap it up and I put it in a little pink clippy. And as you can see, the bottom of my hair, the underside is very curly. And in fact, most of the time I walk around with straight hair in the back, but one big piece, one chunky piece that stays curly. Drives me a little crazy, but that's what I got. Okay, now I take the Revlon dryer and I turn it to low. Actually, I think that was a little high. I'm gonna turn it down to low. What I kind of like to do is lift this high at first to try to give myself some lift, and I'll show you that. Let's put it on low. And I forgot to do this on this piece over here, but after I add the heat to it, I do use the cooling setting to kind of set that in.
So there those pieces are. And then I go to the next piece, but first I clip these pieces back dry so that they don't get wetter again. And it's a little easier to handle the future pieces if I have these kind of out of the way. So then I take the top up, go ahead and brush it up a little bit. <laughs> then I clip it on the top of my head and I just deal with these two side pieces. So there we go, got some bend in the hair, just long straight with a little bend, and I'll go ahead and clip this piece back here. Then I'll go ahead and take out the back, and I'll go ahead again on low. And I'll hit it with the cool again. So there's that side. My clip fell out. That happens. So there's the lower front. Now I'll get the back and here it is and it's still a little bit wet. So we'll just take this as one big piece and I'm really finding that at first it is good to hit it with the high because on the low my hair doesn't seem to be getting dried enough. So there we are so far and now I'm going to do the front which is the most difficult part for me. First, I will do the back, so I'll take that out. And I like to try to get a little bubble up in the back. So we'll see if I can do that. My hair is so long, it doesn't bubble very well. Here it is in the back. I don't know how that looks. Now we'll take the last part, which is the front, obviously, and I'll do that on low. There we go, and I found that salon blowouts are really good because they get your hair totally dry, so I'm going to go over it one more time. So there we are, finished using the Revlon Styler. And I've been parting my hair on this side lately. So we'll just kind of put that over there. And if my hair were a little shorter, I think it would really curl into more of a defined style at the end. But now I'll go ahead and just back comb it a little bit. First, I'll show you the back though. I hope that looks okay. I can't see it. 
Okay, now I'm going to go in with this little rat tail comb, which I got at Walmart, love this product. I'll link below to my Walmart skincare video because I realized that pretty much every single one of my skincare items was from Walmart. Walmart asked me to do that video and I thought, what am I going to do that video on? And then I realized that all of my skincare is from Walmart. Okay, there we go. I think it looks better on this side. See, I'm hair challenged. I have issues. Now I am going to do one more thing, which I think really does help. Okay, I've got to get it. It's under my cap. And this is the Kenra Dry Textured Spray. And here's how it works. You just section off your hair just a little bit and then you spray it under here, under the layers. And this is supposed to give you that kind of PC look, kind of like you just got out of bed. Then you let it dry for a minute. Then you just kind of scruffle it around, kind of finger style it a little bit. Also go in a little bit on the sides. I think it frames your face nicely to have the sides go out a little bit, a little bit of lift there. Then once you get it where you want it, I use this Kenra 25 hairspray. This is their super hold and I truly love it. I like it because once you get your style in, you can just kind of buff it up and it stays in place. And I don't know how the back looks. Let's take a look. Oh man, it's a little bit rat messy back there. Oh well, that's good enough. So that's how I use this Revlon Volumizing Blow Dryer. I really do like it. This is only the third time I've used it and I seem to get a little bit better every time. At the fifth or the tenth time, I'll have fabulous hair. Well, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll click that bell below the video, give this video a thumbs up and share it if you would. Okay, I always like to leave you with the thought for the day and I'm doing it in my bathroom, but this is the Miracles Now cards by Gabriel Bernstein. Somehow I feel like we'll get a special one because this is an unusual place for me to do my videos. Ooh, this one wants to fall out, so it must be important. Ooh, my positive energy leaves a powerful impression on the world. My powerful energy leaves a positive impression on the world. Friends, this is a very good card for me because sometimes, although a lot of you say you appreciate my positive attitude, I can be a glass half empty kind of a person. And that is not a good way to bring good things into your life, although I have had a good life, I have to admit. But even with that, the more we try to be positive, the more we try to see that glass half full, the more positive power we have that we can use in the world. So friends, just for today, all through the day, and I'm going to do this too, every minute of the day today, let's catch ourselves. If we start to think negative, if we start to be ungrateful about something, let's turn it around and look at the bright side, because when we do that, we feel much better and we can make a much more powerful impression on the world. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.